everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot I'm trying to get my camera adjusted right okay is that gonna work maybe maybe not anyways eh. all right everybody hi and welcome back to my channel I am here to do just a very quick flash card reading okay um, you know I this is for all signs, any sign, doesn't really matter. This is kind of, a, it's just a general flash. And this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. It just means that I didn't pick up on your story today. But we're going to whip through this super fast, okay? If it, if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help it grow, and thank you all for all your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, the whole nines. You guys have been fabulous. You rock. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box if anyone would like to make a donation to the channel, and this channel is for adults only. All right, guys, take it however it resonates with you. I may say he's, she's, his, hers. None of that matters. It's never gender specific, okay? First of all, we're going to go off the bottom of, of these decks. The, this is the tarot, but this is all my flash, okay? I feel like, person watching, you're in for a whole lot of financial gain here, okay? A whole lot of financial gain. A luxury life is coming to you. I think you're noticing the payoff now and I think you're taking very good care of yourself. You're pampering yourself. I see you hot tubbing here. You know, a little jelly. <laughs> I'm a little jelly. Um, but yeah, I, I see you working on your pentacles and being very strategic. Like you're taking good care of yourself but meanwhile you're also thinking of like building this. It's almost like a pyramid here. You know, you're building it. Uh, yeah. I feel like, it's, and look at this, success. Success and gain. Yeah, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have financial success and financial gain here coming to you. If it hasn't gotten here already, it's coming. It's coming. Why? Because of your heart, because of the way you love. This is good karma coming back to you because you try to be a caretaker for people, because you listen to people's problems, because you're probably an empath. You could be a spiritual healer. Okay? You counsel people, maybe. People come to you. You could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But, you know, you've always been loving, kind, caring. You know, you, it's because of your heart and, the, and because of your kindness that you're getting rewarded here with success and financial gain. Heck yeah! I'm digging this and look at this! Angel wings! Right there. Justice. This is like, um, it's, it's almost like a temperance card for me. This is something that's, you know, divinely led. You've been divinely led here to this jackpot. Jackpot! Seriously, look at this. You're divinely led and you've got your angel wings here. You could be a divine feminine. I feel like you're feeling very balanced. Your, your emotions are very, very balanced out. You're, but you're heading straight to a happy ending here. Uh, ultimate abundance. Wow, I didn't even see these. Um, ultimate abundance like a happy fairy tale kind of ending man this is happiness all over some of you could even be pregnant this could be a same-sex relationship meanwhile I feel like your person is worried about their health and finances but you're not you at least soon you won't be you are going to hit it big time because of how you love, because of the tender way you've treated other people, you are getting rewarded here. You're getting divinely rewarded. 
Yep, and you've been strong. Oh, you've been strong and powerful. Somebody wants to come in and apologize to you because they see you as an empress, as they should. They probably underestimated you back in that last cycle and you bossed up on them. You healed and you bossed up on them. You worked on yourself. That's why you're getting all of this success and financial gain because you worked on it. Okay? Yeah, they want to come in and apologize to you now because you're about ready to start a new cycle. You walked out of the old cycle. I feel like their messages are coming through. Um, you're powerful. I feel like you're... I feel like there could be some things hidden in the background here, but I feel like it's you. I feel like you're hiding your moves, not really hiding them, but just keeping things on the down low these days. How you move, what you plan, what you're building, because you're protecting it with everything you've got. Very, very quietly. Very quietly. You know, and, and you've built these two towers. You could even have a choice coming here soon. Or maybe this is two separate projects, I think, that you've been building. Um, like a business and then a side spin-off business or a job and another business, something like that. And you've grown in size to the point where you're just powerful and protective, as you should be, because you're the Empress, okay, in the Minor Arcana. Very strong hanging on to your boundaries. Here comes that wheel of fortune. Your fortune's coming in after a long cycle of heartbreak caused by somebody uh, who refused to show you any love, tell you how they feel about you. This person really held back all of their emotions from you and it broke your heart. You're having a victory from this. This heartbreak, it's about to be over. That cycle, it's about to be closed and the wheel is about to turn in your favor all the way, person watching. Meanwhile, here's your person. This is all flash. This is you. This is you. This is your person, okay? Your person, now, um, these are all my flash decks flipped upside down, right? Um, yeah, this one I, I hardly ever use online, okay? But I was shuffling it because I was called to it. I was called to it, and I'm only letting three cards come out because, like I said, I don't usually use it online. But yeah, the divine is here, which is interesting because the divine is here. Check that out. Didn't realize that. Completely separate decks now, mind you. This one goes with this deck. Completely separate decks. The divine is here try, with this person, trying to lead them, trying to get them on the bus. Just get on the bus, man. <laughs> get on the bus, dude. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They're screaming at him, prodding at him, because this person can no longer carry all of these heavy burdens. They're gonna, it's gonna start dropping. Look at the frustrated look on their face. Like, how am I going to do this? What am I going to do? Um, how am I going to get these burdens? Care you can't fit these burdens on the bus. This person has to let them go. They're never going to be able to make up the weird stairs. They're so separated, you know? They're never going to make it up those stairs to the, even get on the bus. With No, you can't bring the baggage on the bus. <laughs> No baggage on the divine bus, okay? You got to cut it out. And that means something that you may even love. You may have love. See, it's a little heart that this person's cutting out. You may have to cut out something that you, that you love that's burdening you because you can't bring this stuff with you on this bus. But it's here to pick you up. Like, the, it's time guys. It's time, folks. It's time. It's time to go. It Look, it's time. It's time to go. It's time to go. What did I just say? 
yeah, the abuse here, it, it can't go on any longer. Whatever that means, that's got to mean something. And abuse, this card can mean anything from physical abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse, that kind of thing. It can't go on any longer. I feel like there could be some kind of child abuse here too. There could be some kind of child abuse here. But this, this actually it could just... I'm seeing this father-son here. This is a good dad. This is a good card. This is someone who is protective, protective of the child. They help support this kid. They, they bring them up and lift them up and try to encourage them to do good. You know, they, help, they try to keep them strong and they protect them. This is a good dad. So if there's any kind of child abuse allegations towards this particular person, I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing that that's shady. That's something that tastes like shite. Yeah. So just so people are aware, I don't know. That's not gonna. That's not gonna be for everyone. Maybe maybe a small handful of you. But somebody needs to cut something out. Right? Look at that. Cut something out. Cut something out. Permanently. Permanent. Someone needs to cut something out permanently. That's be that's completely burdensome for them. Even if it means being alone, they need to spend some time alone so that they can get closer to the divine. The divine is calling this person to them. Okay, person watching. They're being prodded to the divine first so that they can sit alone and heal and purge and purge okay and maybe work on their on their pentacles a little bit because I feel like this person is low on their pentacles since they have to cut something out I feel like this person has been with someone else um, that's maybe cost them some money that they keep having to they keep going back and forth to and from the same place over and over again like this could be an off and on relationship that's toxic this could be <clears throat> maybe going back to the same job over and over again that's bad for you this could be maybe moving in the same neighborhood over and over again when you know it's a crappy neighborhood or something this looks like a nice neighborhood but this is a street that they've been on before that they keep going back down okay and it's just at this point they shouldn't trust it because it's filled with holes and it and it's it eats all their money to it sucks all their money and they have to protect the kids they have to protect this is somebody who's protecting the kids now I've got it twice where's the other one I feel like this person is protecting the children from possible abuse. That's what I'm feeling like here. I feel like this masculine is protecting these kids. Look, um, I'm going to leave these all out because they're all part of your reading. Look, he's got his arms wrapped around him and kind of guarding him around all sides here to protect this child. He's got his back. He's got this kid's back. Do you see what I'm saying? And then we've got him here, lifting him up, supporting him, being supportive, right? Encouraging and protecting him, holding him, you know, protecting him so he doesn't fall down. You know what I'm saying? This person is protecting some kids in a fairly abusive situation here whoever this is they need to cut this whoever is doing the abusing needs to be cut out even if this person loves them that's part of the problem right there that tiny little heart that's the biggest problem in this whole reading is that tiny little heart drawn with a freaking pen okay this person drawn with a pen pens in in my decks are permanent this person thought 
that wherever they were, wherever they got in, was going to be permanent, a permanent love situation. I feel like this burdened masculine energy. They're very burdened because they, they know they have to cut this out. They can't keep dealing with this situation anymore. I think their, their sole purpose now in um, whatever love commitment, whatever, wherever they are, um, their sole purpose now is to protect the children. And at that point, the rest of it tastes like shite. It, it's crap cake. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? And this person, though, they're so burdened by this because what they have to cut out, they actually love. I think they have love for whoever is being abusive. Okay? This person has love for whoever is being abusive. And that's why it's burdening them so much. Or... What if the kids were not their kids, but they were with somebody who was abusive? If they cut that abusive person out, they won't be able to protect the children anymore. I think for some of you, that's it. And they're afraid to cut this heart out. They're afraid to cut out this toxic whatever this kind of cake is. Because maybe if they do, they won't be able to protect these kids. Because right now, this person's all about these children. They're all about the kids. Hmm, I think there could also be drugs involved in this, some kind of alcohol. I'm seeing maybe somebody even putting something in somebody's drink that's making them sick or making them feel out of it. Just out of it. You know, I hate to bring it up, but this is kind of what I'm seeing, and it's backwards from how I usually read this, but... It, for some of you, and it's only for some of you now, for some of you, this person might be, you know, putting something in the other person's drink or whatever to chill them out so that, so that they can more easily protect the kids from the abuse. Or this could be just somebody who drinks, like, over drinks and then gets all crazy or something. I don't know. I can see it so many different ways. You know? I feel like this could have been happy at one point, but honestly, I'm really, you know, I gotta go with it, though. I, for most of you, this person's numbing. This person's numbing. I, I think they're they're wanting this. I think they're staying there as long as they can, maybe to try to work on it or something so that they can reach this point, or they're numbing because they know you're happy. You know? They may just want to be they may just be dreaming of being somewhere else. But they have too many people here that need them, that want them, that... Yeah, I feel like this person just has too many people that are grasping at them. I feel like they want to get out of this too. I feel like they know they need to cut out this situation too. They know it's toxic. You can't tell me this person can't feel the weight of all of those books. That's burdens, okay? And they can probably feel that they're, they're, it's time to take a new journey. With the bus out here freaking twice, who can ignore that? Who can ignore that? That's a scream right there. Get on the bus! And an echo. Bus, bus, bus. I feel like this person may want their happiness. They may want this to work out right, but... And I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're numbing here. 
somebody's numbed out here with the with the glazed over button eyes and the drink here in front of them yeah meanwhile I feel like you're being watched you're being watched person watching I think late at night somebody just sits around eats and watches you I don't know if they're watching you on a computer a TV I don't know what but they're watching you and overeating they overindulge and they eat a lot while they watch you because you're this is like a person who's very alluring all, all of these people are watching you coming towards you here at least three fish and, an, and a girl or the divine is there with you there may be some competition involved with you uh, I feel like your person wants to do things the right way but they're not sharing that with you right now I feel like they have secrets too they want to communicate they want to they want another chance at this this is beautiful what a flow they want to communicate they want another chance you're gonna realize that when they show up at your door all dramatic and stuff you're gonna be like she was right <laughs> yeah this is what they want I think they're keeping it on the down low because for right now I feel like they're trying to do everything right and I feel like they're trying to do everything right by these kids is what I is what I'm feeling the kids and everything it's just very burdensome for them and you know all the books they've got to think their way through this they've got to think their way through this but they want to do everything right this is also someone who's coming back around okay um, yeah you're feeling very protective you're somebody who's been hurt before underestimated before you've put a lot of work in everywhere look at you you've been working hard you're sweating okay and it, you've grown all of this behind you and you're protecting everything that you've built everything that you've created children whether it's children or a project you're protecting it all this is you being protective protective of your happiness okay um, yeah I feel like bring your stress down to size you've you've healed from this broken heart here I think you've healed from this broken heart <laughs> you seem to have control over your emotions as well and I feel like your person knows that there's just a un unfinished business here there's just unfinished business with you guys which brings us to you guys okay they see you as like how do they describe you they don't know whether to arm wrestle you or or, or make out with you okay person watching they I think they kinda wanna do both they wanna arm wrestle you and make out with you either way they're not letting you go okay they're hanging on to you they're like wait a minute you always had this person's back you always had their back you may not have said much about it but you were always there for this person they may even look up to you a little bit because of that because of your style you have this style this cool like you would fit in in, in in any area or any point in history look at how cool you are standing that's how they stand these days and this is a piece of art from you know thousands of years ago so I mean come on now you're just cool <laughs> I don't even know how else to say it that's how they see you just being cool um, all right now this is a huge deck for me but I want to get a few cards out of this mythology deck what else can you show us divine I don't know when was that picture painted that that 
art picked on. Would that have been hundreds of years ago, thousands, thousands of years ago? Yeah, I'm, I'm about right, right? I don't even know, I'm so tired. But you know what I mean. In any era, any point in time, you've just got this timeless quality about you. I don't know, that's how they see it. The perfect kind of soulmate, you know? Yeah, I feel like your person wants to ride in for a victory here. This is the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could be a cancer. But yeah, um, they want a victory with you. And I feel like this is something coming in fast. They already definitely want this, this chance. They're planning on what they're going to, you know, bellow out to you here. Um... Yeah, communication, it's coming. A lot of communication, by the way. Okay, what else can you show me here? You know, this person could have been with someone else and maybe now they're separated and they could be staying at someone else's home. This could also be somebody who, you know, honestly, I have to say it, and it's not going to resonate with all of you, maybe a handful of you, but they could have been busted, kind of, they could have been caught doing something with another man, but that's not for everybody. I kind of do see them as being, honestly, they could even be um, like staying at family, like a family's home sleeping on a bunk bed. I mean, the divine bus is here to pick them up. And they, it is time for them to make a clean cut, a clean one for good. Remember permanent with the pen. Where is it? A permanent cut. All right, so what else can you show me here, divine? Yeah, this person, they want to talk. They want another chance with you. They're so burdened, burdened by this. Trying to hold this boulder up on their shoulder and scale the wall. They're very burdened, especially about their next step. Where is this person going to step next? Okay. Let's think about this. <laughs> That's probably what they're saying to themselves. Like, they're very burdened, especially about their next step. What else can you show me? <laughs> yeah. I think they're, they're, they just feel so exhausted. These don't even want to leave my hand. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's why. They didn't want to leave my hand. They kept jumping back in the crook of my hand. Okay, so wherever your person is, they may be with someone, okay? They may be with someone. This person that they're with, half naked, they half naked, they still can't even get this person's attention. You know why? Because your person wants to get you in that chariot and ride out of here and bowl over any competition that's standing in their way with you. Their mind is on you. You, 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 okay? It doesn't matter who they're with or how naked they are, right? It doesn't matter. She can even reach up and try to physically turn his face to get some attention and he's not doing it. He doesn't want to have anything to do with whoever is by him right now. Sorry, he's, she's, his, hers. I'm sorry again. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. It's just a, it's just a human factor. Nothing's ever gender specific. I don't know how to break that one. I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, I am fully aware. Okay, so just nothing is ever gender specific. But yeah, this person cannot they this person cannot get this person's attention. 
You know how, how confusing it's going to be if I have to keep saying this person, that person, this person, that. Molly here in this picture can't get Brutus's attention no matter what Molly does. Yep, because Brutus, Brutus only wants to come and get you, person watching. They want to knock over the competition. And they want to do it as quickly as they can. They can already feel the bus sitting outside their house waiting to pick them up. They can feel this energy. They can feel it. It's time. It may be time to pick both of you up. So that things can come together. For a victory. Right? Alright. Let's get... Geez, what should I get, guys? All right, how about a possible outcome for this? What's the possible outcome for this, please, Divine? Possible outcome. This was actually a very free-flowing, really good reading, I gotta say. I feel like somebody wants to take a leap of faith. For now, they're going to watch you and plan. Okay. Okay, so at least for the next week, probably. I'm just going to call it out for like the next week, even though these are, are timeless. All right, guys. Right now, they're trying to make a plan. This is a plan. They All they have to work with, though, is a potato and a crayon. Okay? Keep that in mind. They could even be trying to work with other friends, confiding in them, planning on coming to you. Okay? I feel like you're leaving the scene. I feel like this is you going into your happiness, but equally, I feel like you guys are mirroring each other because they want to go in this direction too, okay? They want to go to calmer waters. They want to have a new journey, a brand new beginning, okay? They, they want to go, they want to be in this journey as well. So I, I do feel like you guys are, are mirroring each other. Um, but right now, all they're going to be doing probably for the next few days at least is watching you like a hawk and maybe even having someone else watch you as well. There, there's two people here watching you and planning. Maybe even planning with whoever they can get to help watch you, right? They're making a plan, a potato plan, to try to figure out how to how to come and get you and stick you in the chariot and ride off with you and knock over the competition. They're very burdened by it. They, this person, they want another chance. But they're studying you for now because they don't know how to come through. They don't know how to approach you, okay? They don't know how to approach you, so they're making a plan. They also need to make some kind of cockamamie potato plan to cut something out permanently permanently and it's probably this person who can no longer even get their attention even when she's naked even when she's naked yeah because all they're doing is thinking about you and planning something with a potato and watching you yeah yeah well, that's what I got, guys. Um, you know, I hope it resonated. I, a lot of this isn't going to resonate with everyone, okay? So when I say it's not going to resonate with everyone, you know those little parts where I say it's only going to resonate with a few of them? I, I really do mean that. I really do. So take everything how it resonates with your story. And if it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Just take what resonates and leave the rest for those who need the messages, okay? Okay? So it's all right. It's just that tensions are high, emotions are high. This is, a, this is a very transitional kind of time, and, you know, I get it. But try not to shoot the messengers, okay? Because <laughs> we genuinely love you guys. We're actually just trying to help. 
All right, listen, I do love you all. Thank you so much for your support, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares. If you liked it, hit the like button for me and subscribe to the channel. I know you're going to want to anyway. You don't want to miss a thing, right? Okay, good luck with this. Take care of you and peace out.